Hi, Stefan Svartling here from Svartling Network. After being using the iPhone 6 for two weeks now, I must say that this is the best phone I have ever had. And please note that I said phone because this is not a phablet. This is a phone and I choose it because it is a phone and not a phablet. If I want something bigger than a phone, I use my iPad Air instead. And the iPhone 6 has phone apps and the iPad has iPad apps. It's a huge difference really. And the iPhone 6 is also one of the most beautiful phones I have ever had. And I really like the gold color. Some users say that the antenna lines on the back of the gold version of the iPhone 6 is ugly. But I think they are quite nice really. I think the most ugly antenna lines is on the space gray version. And I will never use a case on this beautiful phone because that destroys the feeling of the phone and the all the nice design that Apple has done with it. But with that also comes a huge drawback and that is that the iPhone 6 is very, very slippery. You can very easily drop the phone from your hand. The iPhone 6 is actually the first iPhone I have owned that is made for having a case. That's because it's so slippery to use. And when it comes to size, it's a huge difference from my former phone, the iPhone 5S. The iPhone 6 is a lot bigger than the iPhone 5S and you can very easily feel it when you hold both of the phones in your hand. And I have quite large hands and the iPhone 6 is nearly too big. I want to use the phone with one hand so I can reach up to the top of the phone and the iPhone 6 is almost too big to do that for me. And I also need to type with one hand because I often write notes and so on while walking. For example, from my car to my office, I often type something and I can do that with iPhone 6. But if it had been a tiny, tiny bit bigger, that would be impossible for me. So hopefully Apple is working on making the iPhone 6 smaller for the next generation of the iPhone 6. So they can make it a tiny bit smaller again with the same screen size. But when it comes to bezels, I really like the bezels on the iPhone 6. I rather have a Touch ID button below the display than having on screen buttons as Android phones has, for example. I really want the Touch ID a lot more than smaller bezels. And the bezels are really good to hold when you're taking photos in landscape mode too or recording videos that I do a lot. Then the bezels are awesome to have. The protruding camera then. Yes, it's not an ideal design but I'm not so annoyed by it really. I don't use my phone when it's uh, laying down on a table for example and uh, when I hold it, I don't care a lot about it, so uh, I don't see the problem with a protruding camera. The only problem I have with a protruding camera is that I'm worried about to scratch the camera lens when I lay it down on a table, but uh, it has some sapphire glass as a cover, so I don't think that uh, the camera lens will be scratched because of the sapphire. But I'm still quite worried about it though, so that's a bit annoying. I haven't used the camera yet so much for taking still photos. I have used it a lot to record video though, and I can say that I love the camera. And especially the new pixel focus. I have never seen so fast autofocus as the iPhone 6 has. It focuses immediately. That also means that I personally take fewer still photos because it's almost every time enough with only one photo to take a perfect photo. Before I took a few photos of the same motive because if some of the photos would be out of focus I have another photo to choose from but that is not necessary anymore with iPhone 6. And the display on the iPhone 6 is awesome. Uh, the text and the photos is crystal clear on this display. It almost feels like you touching the icons for real instead of uh, below a glass display. And it's much easier to read now with a larger display. So reading books, articles and other texts 
is a lot easier now. And the battery life of the iPhone 6 is amazing. It has the best battery life of any phone I have ever owned. It beats my LG G2, my Sony Xperia Z1 and of course the Samsung Galaxy S3 and also the iPhone 5S even if the iPhone 5S has a really good battery life too. It can hold a complete day for me, the battery, even if I use it a lot for video recording, video editing and so on, blogging, writing and all that. I can have the phone for a complete day before I need to charge it again. That's incredibly good. And as I said before, uh, the reason for such a great battery life is because of the auto brightness feature. If you use that with care, for example, that you don't have 100% brightness always on on your display, then your battery life will be a lot better. So if you can adjust that to have a not so bright display, then you will see a huge difference. I can assure you that. And when it comes to speed and performance, the iPhone 6 is awesome. It's really fast for, for example, rendering videos when I have edited them in iMovie. And you can surf the web really fast and apps opens really fast. So fast that the apps opens before you have take away your finger from the display again so fast so to me personally the iphone 6 is the best phone on the market now and if you need a bigger uh, device i recommend buying an ipad instead of a bigger phone because a bigger phone will have to have some drawbacks for example one-handed use and so on and as i said another drawback with a bigger phone instead of an iPad is the apps. The apps on an iPad is much better than on an iPhone because the apps are made for a larger display. So this was my longer review of the iPhone 6, 64 gigabyte in gold. Okay, bye.